Remember, the reason we're doing these exercises is to reduce the spinal subluxations and keep your body healing from the inside. Okay, this is the hip stretch series. Uh, this is an active isolated stretch taken from the work of the Whartons. You can consult the Wharton stretch book for more information about this. But for our purposes, you're going to take a yoga strap and loop it through, wrap it around the foot. More towards the ball of the foot is better and active isolated stretching is moving stretching. It's not static stretching where you put your leg like on a chair and you hold it there for a minute or two. It's moving stretching. So Jan's going to take the strap and lift her leg straight into the air. Before she does that, I'm gonna say we're gonna do five different stretches, four with the yoga strap and one without. So lift the leg straight into the air, and then at the very top, she's going to give a little pull, a momentary pull, and then down. And again, lift. It's a straight angle. Good. And down. And lift. And down. Good. And lift. And down. Very straightforward. The leg comes straight up, and you pull on the yoga strap, a little tug on the yoga strap at the top. Good. The next stretch is the exact same motion. All you're changing is the angle. Now you lift the leg and the foot towards the opposite shoulder. And again, give the pull at the top. Everything else is exactly the same. Good. Lift and pull. Of course, always breathing, as in all of our exercises, Doing it slowly and breathing is very important. Good, lift and pull, good. And one more, lift and pull. Okay, again, it's the exact same motion. All we're changing is the angle again. This time the angle is 45 degrees. You can see 45 degrees to the table. Good, so everything else is exactly the same. Lift and pull. For this one, you may want to turn your arm out on that angle to get the proper pull. Lift and pull. Again, lift and pull. You don't want to twist your spine. If you start to do that, that is incorrect. Okay, it's just the motion at the hip joint. Good, slowly and up. Uh, momentary pull here at the top and of course breathing good so those first three with the yoga strap are essentially all the same the only thing that changes is the angle good next thing that we do is another hip stretch but this is a two-part stretch you lift and then over you throw the leg over and you pull here and again the arm should go out on that one good and then back and down and lift and over and that's where the pull is done right there again you don't want to twist your spine you don't want your spine to do that and your whole body to twist just your leg should be moving at the hip joint good and right there is the pull Let's do one more like that. Again, breathing as a reminder. Over, and the pull is here. Good. And our last stretch in the hip series is done without the yoga strap. For Jan's sake, I'm gonna switch legs so she doesn't walk crooked. This is the start position. She's going to lift this knee towards the opposite shoulder and then grab the knee behind the knee for that momentary pull and down and lift and pull good and lift and pull make sure that you do not lift to the side and then go across you want the angle to be from the kneecap to the opposite shoulder straight from the get-go. 
Again, slowly, the momentary pull at the top, and breathing. 